What's up, everybody? Carrie Lane here, and I am with Danine Melody. Woo! And she's an amazing, talented voice actor. And so you're here at Comic Con, though. And we didn't no, didn't go figure. We didn't see each other at Anime Expo, but it's Comic Con. But what are you doing here at Comic Con? And How's first day? I know Comic Con's quite a bit. Woo! So I am actually going to be doing a panel with Eric Herman Sherman and Mami Okada of Bang Zoom. We're going to be talking about video game um, and anime voice acting and how to get into it. Um, they will be talking about the casting and directing and producing side. I'll be giving some insight about what it's like to be a voice actor and you know audition process and stuff like that, specifically for anime and video games. So, yeah, that's why we're here and. It has been fascinating so far. Let me tell you, it's it's crazy. It's been a while since I think people have been out and about to these cons, and it's a good it's a good way, you know, a good a good sort of chaos, but it's chaotic. Yes. Yes, that is very very true indeed. Now uh, I know you're gonna be probably talking you're gonna be talking about the panel, but for people watching, what are some quick tips that maybe they take for granted or they forget involved with voice acting? So, you've probably heard this before, we say it a lot, you need to take acting classes because, you know, it's not just about your voice, you gotta act. And that's becoming more and more of a thing too where they're really looking for people who can really like be natural in how they give the performance, even in something like anime. Um, so if you are like kind of dipping your toes into it and you're not sure where to start acting classes are great improv classes are great so classes um also if you're already kind of auditioning and everything just don't think about it too much i know that's so hard to do because i still at this point always you know overthink everything but trust yourself trust your instincts the if you think too much about an audition and you, you try to think about what they want you might like overshoot and go completely like off and you just don't know they may not know what they're looking for so trust your instincts and don't overthink and yeah and also don't compare yourself to anybody because we really are all so different that's another one that I know is hard because of the internet and everything. Everybody puts their stuff out there. It's easy to compare yourself to one person who looks like they're doing great and you feel like maybe you're not doing great, but you don't know what's going on behind the scenes. You don't know. Um, so yeah, just try not to compare. I know it's hard. Trust me, I do. Um, but everybody is different and your journey is your own and you'll find your success in your own way. I like it. Good advice. That's advice I, I really needed and appreciate, and I remind myself daily. I'm not even kidding, daily. So, yes, share. And any projects that you're working on right now or they're coming out soon that you can let people know about? Well, as you know, because NDAs, <laughs> a lot of them are hard to, to talk about. Um, but one was just announced recently for Genshin Impact. I have been in Genshin as Cheng Cheng. She's an adorable little girl, but I am now a harbinger. I'm a big bad. I'm a marionette. And I so we'll be having some of that, I'm sure. Um, so that was very exciting to get to announce that. Um, also, of course, we're recording Ladybug. Can't give out any spoilers, but I know people are always asking about Ladybug. And yes, we are, we are recording. It's fun. Um, yeah. So there's that, and there's a couple of other things that I have going on that I can't even hint about because, again, that NDA, non-disclosure agreement, meaning that we can't talk about anything. So even if you ask us online and you tweet to us and we ignore you, I promise we're not being mean. We just can't say anything. They will tell you when they can. Yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> if you want to know, like, I mean, you wouldn't even have to ask. It's already going to be all over the voice actors pages. <laughs> yes. Cool. And anything else you'd like to add about your experience, voice acting, whatever, how your day's going? Ooh. Let me see. Um, I just want to, you know, it always sounds really cheesy, but I want to thank everybody because, like, you know, 
For me, I really appreciate the love and support I get from everybody online um, and even in person. Whenever I'm at a convention like this and somebody comes up to me, um, it always weirds me out to be like recognized because it's like it's just my voice and here I am wearing a mask, but you still know it's me. But I appreciate it. Um, sometimes, you know, voice actors, because we are behind the the character, behind like something you, we don't always get that appreciation so just know for me it means a lot all of your kind words when you tag me in fan art and you tag me in posts that you make i love it so much i love it um so keep doing that because it makes me happy um especially for for things like mari from evangelion i always love her fan art please send it my way um marionette from genshin now please send that my way just all of it yeah i like that well, thank you so much, and have a good rest of your con. Thank you. You too. And I love your shirt. This uh, you is know, my favorite movie, y'all. It's my favorite movie. I actually have the pins right here. I, I kind of knew, and I planned that a little bit. Yes. You sneaky. <laughs> you sneaky. I love it, though. Last Unicorn. If you haven't seen it, go watch it. Yes. Actually, and they have an anniversary screening on the 30th in L.A. Um, yeah, Google it. The Last Unicorn anniversary screening. Um, Peter Espigo will be there. He's amazing. He's the author of the book. And yeah, the, the movie is beautiful. Please watch it if you can't make the screening. So yeah, it's the best. Awesome. Yay. Well, thank you so much for watching. I'm Carrie Lane with Fanversation, and we'll see you next time.